Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna go over as many general and operator specific interactions as I can fit into one video. I've learned a lot of these throughout my time as a champion blitz player. With that being said, I'll be showing a lot of these perspectives as blitz, but most general interactions pertain to both Fuse and Monty as well. If you learned anything from this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you guys enjoy. For this video, we're not going to go over or focus on the default answer to shields, which is currently running trap operators, as well as using C4s and impacts. We don't necessarily need to go over them because most people have a good grasp on them already. First, we're going to go over stairways as well as looking up or looking down. Stairs are notorious for ruining shield player's day. Going down the stairs can get your feet shot, as well as going up the stairs can leave your head exposed. While moving, you can look up to better cover your head and aim your shield up, but in the case of Blitz, his shield is fixed when sprinting no matter where you're looking. You can see in this clip that the only difference is when I aim the shield up while walking. This can be used to make ascending stairs easier and safer. If you're on an elevated surface like Attic on Oregon, you can be shot in the feet, even if you do everything right. This is another example of perspective advantages. C4s can be a bit tricky. C4s are supposed to bounce off your shield while moving. I've noticed that in some circumstances, they tend to clip through your shield and land at your feet depending on your latency. Here's an example that left me a little bit heated. Pushing, down. That's so dumb. One's down. Here's something to remember while repelling into the building. If your shield is equipped when you start your repel, you will enter the building with your shield up. However, if your shield is on your back, it will not be equipped when you get off repel. This is something that can get away from you if you forget. Vaulting is something that has plagued me for a long time. Recently, Ubisoft has said that they fixed the vault animation or desync with your shield while you vault. I've discovered that this is true while vaulting over something, but if you were to vault onto something like a bed or a bar, the game will still show the same desync issue and it'll come back. Like I said, this is one of the general interactions that happens to all the shields. I've tested the vaulting on all objects. Windows, deployables rotates both low and high, you're fine as long as you're vaulting over something rather than onto an object. Here's one for the blitz players. Depending on the height of objects in the middle of a room, your flash may be blocked even though you can clearly see the person on your screen. Deployable shields though are a different story. Flashbangs and blitz's shield will full flash somebody through the shield even if they're fully hidden. All shield operators can use any door jam on the right side to be able to hit fire safely without leaving anything exposed. This is going to be removed at the end of year 8 whenever Ubisoft removes hip firing with all shields. First up on the controversial list is drop shotting with shields. Drop shotting can be used by any shield operator when an opportunity arises, like when a defender reloads or when a defender is full flashed. As a blitz main, I don't use drop shotting much. I prefer to keep my shield up all the time. Op four neutralized. That about wraps it up for all the general and environmental mechanics for shields. Let's get into some operator specific interactions that you may not know. One thing that I learned while making this video is that the capcan traps do not cause your shield to be knocked out of the way. I didn't know that, but what does surprise me is that thorn traps will knock your shield out of the way. An unusual interaction that I've been using lately is electricity versus shields. I've been having people bring shields against me after halftime because obviously they're better at it than I am, so I've been bringing Cade with barbed wire. Some people have never been in an instance where they're playing a shield and hit electrified wire. The same thing will happen with electrified walls and deployable shields. Ah! Friendly's victorious. 
Hostiles eliminated. A pretty common interaction with Blitz in particular is stepping on a mute jammer while trying to use your flash. A mute jammer will stop your flash, leaving you dead in the water. Ella is one of my least favorite ops to play against. Her traps can be anywhere, and while playing a shield op, you can go from having your shield protect your face in one second, and have it disappear the next. Echo is another counter to shields while using his drone to stun the shield player. The drones can knock your shield out of the way, and when coordinated with the teammate, can delete any shield player almost immediately. Number two on our controversial list is the Oryx Dash. I personally don't use this because while I do think it's cheap, I don't want to get in the habit of doing it because I believe that eventually it will be patched and I don't want to do it automatically. Instead, Oryx can be countered by hip firing immediately after being knocked to the ground almost like you're drop shotting. Next up is Solus. Solus brings a whole new meaning to Blitz counter. Solus can see Blitz constantly while he has his shield out. On top of straight and constant callouts, this can lead to Solus double impacting Blitz while on another level of the map. What doesn't make sense is that if Blitz puts his shield on his back, then he doesn't show up on the Solus scanner anymore. Nope. Yeah. Just you and me. Last but not least is the ultimate shield counter. Clash can constantly be knocking anyone's shield out of their face, completely shutting down any and all shield pushes. If I see a Clash on the other team, I'll swap off a shield 9 out of 10 times for a Fenka or a Nomad. If Clash is alone, shield operators can still beat most Clashes, but this almost never happens. Through this whole video, my buddy Gathlinka helped me record and is in most of my videos already. So before I leave you, I just wanted to give him a quick shout out for all the help. Please let me know if I missed anything or if there's anything you'd like to see me take further in depth. I hope you guys enjoyed and as always, I hope you guys have an awesome day. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, melee me and my dad.